Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to put code breaker codes, which is code junkies or action replay codes, on your DS ROMs on your PC. Or you can use this save file which we're gonna create and put it on your R4 cards and you can use it as everything is unlocked or whatever codes you're gonna put into. And let's get on with it what you need is first DS emulator for PC and of course a ROM I'm using Yu-Gi-Oh 2011 for example because so, it's gonna be easy for me to explain you thing or two okay after you open your emulator and load your ROM and go to emulation cheats list and then you're gonna go to your favorite um, game at the codejunkies.com and make sure you get the European version. They get the code really fast, maybe like next day when the game is released. So copy the code wherever you want. Just make sure you are using the same codes as the game. If it's a European game, you cannot use a US version. So you need to get a your US uh US version needs to be for US codes. And if it's a European version you need to get a European code. So let's put some codes let's say for example allow multiple cards but I need to press the return key on my emulator uh, in order to work it says action replay paste a code and I say deck bypass and I will have another one says um, let's see what else I can use oh, ba -da -ba -da. Uh, there is all cards I need to press LR in order to activate it and click add oh by the way just make sure it's always checked on says turn on alright so click save and let's check what we have on our decks and let's say I have ta -da -da, sorry just now I have slow PC see everything is unlocked I just press L and R on my keyboard while the game was coming to the screen or you can press any way you like and I have a zero card so if I try pressing B which is exit out it won't let me because I need to have 40 cards in my deck in order to go back to main screen but I have a code enabled I need to press this arrow key in order to bypass and it lets me you know go back I have I can have as much as card I want and yeah so that's how you put codes and now come to the second step you you can do is create the save file and export it on your R4 cards or your ACE card or whatever card you're using on your DS or 3DS and go to file export backup memory and save it wherever you like I'm gonna save it on desktop just make sure this is set it as raw state save format sorry I meant raw save format and uh, not not this one raw save format and you're gonna save it and it'll create uh, export a file for you close them later and let's go to desktop it should be there and uh, there it is but you need to save it as it appears on your R4 not what you're gonna save for us to find out you need to go plug in your um, R4 card memory card to your PC and find out for me I already dragged the file so easy for me to find just look for that dot save file if you're using a Pokemon it says PO you know dash whatever and it'll be ended up with the dot save what you're gonna do is just copy this close it and you are gonna paste it and you're gonna copy this file and drag it in your memory card like you're dragging a you know game on your R4's memory card and if it asks you to replace it click yes before you replace it make sure you make a backup of it so this way you won't mess up so yeah you can use this method on any game and you can unlock anything by using code junkie codes and sometimes I know if you have a 3DS sometimes codes don't work so you can use this method and be less frustrated and have fun with it well that's about it I know I better be like oh this guy's do too much yabber yabber well thank you very much and you have yourself a great day take care peace out